This is a direct fired makeup air unit. Its sole purpose is to bring 100% fresh air into the building. Now there is a difference between direct fired and indirect fired. I'll get into that in a minute. Here's the electrical panel with the controls and the gas train. And I'm gonna open up this unit and show you the burner as well. All right guys, we're inside the unit now. That is the air intake back there, filtering the air. Now you can see that the filters are installed with the pleats in the vertical position. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I have made many posts recently about this. The structure of the filter is stronger when the pleats are in the vertical position. All right, um, keep that in mind when you're ordering filters or you're installing square filters into a unit. Now, if we come forward a little bit, we have the burner. Now, this is direct fired. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that when this burner fires up, all the products of combustion are dumped inside the space. That's the way this runs. Indirect fired is when you use a heat exchanger. Direct fired is when the burner is directly in the airstream. Now if I come back a little bit further, you can see that the blower is directly after the burner. And we're pumping that air down discharge right into the space. Now there is exhaust fans that have to be tied in, in conjunction when using a direct fired makeup air. And I'll show you those exhaust fans and they have to be mechanically hardwired in so that this thing can't start up if the exhaust fans aren't running. Okay, there are three of these fans tied in in conjunction with the direct fired makeup air. There's one here, there's one further down there, and tucked in behind that makeup air near the roof hatch, there is another one. Summer, we run the fan only. In winter, we run the fan and the burner. But regardless, when we turn the machine on, the dampers open first. That is the first order of operation now. There is a damper actuator, the orange Belimo back there. That's what starts to open up the dampers. Now, when they're open, there is a micro switch that proves that the dampers are open and allows the rest of the machine to start functioning. So this damper starts to move down and this micro switch here pushes down. You can hear that click. Once that switch is closed, the rest of the makeup air will start to run. Burner, blower, etc. So let's give you a quick rundown of what's inside this panel and how it all functions. We have burner profile switches. These are basically pressure switches, one high, one low, and it takes basically a snapshot of the burner across from start to finish. The high is a normally closed switch, the low is a normally open switch. Okay, we have a transformer, we have the contactor for the blower, another transformer. This is the sight glass into the burner. We, it's really difficult to see and I'm not gonna get close enough with the camera to give you a snapshot of the inside. But that is the ignition transformer. That's where we get the ignition from, the spark. Okay. Here we have our fire eye burner control. We have some lights on it now. The operating control, airflow, and flame. Now, if we were to shut the gas off, and this tried to fire, and we couldn't have um, the flame rectification take place with the flame rod, it would lock itself out and this alarm light would come on. We have two gas valves. We have an open and closed, okay, and one works in conjunction. This one here, this is your open and closed. This one works in conjunction with the Maxitrol controller here and the dial downstairs that you set it to. So basically, this gas valve here will modulate to maintain what you've set it to um, downstairs. So let's say you want um, the air to come into the building at 70 degrees. Um, this valve here, with this controller and the dial downstairs, that is responsible for doing that. So you're going to make up air, you're not trying to really heat the space up. 
basically what you're trying to do is bring in fresh air and temper that air so it's coming in at around room temperature or slightly below in most cases. Um, it's not really there to heat the air up to heat the space. It's just for providing fresh air and to temper that air.